Hello. Here's a quick demo of HCP Waypoint that enables developers to quickly create new applications, execute golden workflows, and manage applications at scale. Here in my HCP dashboard, I can select Waypoint to access the Waypoint offering. Next, I'll connect Waypoint to Terraform Cloud. I can use a Terraform team token to activate Waypoint. Once that's done, I can now create my golden pattern using the templates feature in Waypoint. Here, I'm gonna create a new template, give it a name, give it a summary. In this case, we're gonna call the template Java Spring Boot Application on Amazon ECS. Once that's done, I can now choose the no-code module that backs this template. To view your no-code modules, you can go to the Terraform registry and filter for no code ready. We can now select a Terraform module and a module version. Next, we'll select a Terraform Cloud project that will be assigned to this template. We will also see the input variables that come from the no code module. We can also select variables where the values can be specified during application creation time. We can now add more details such as a description, developer instructions, and labels to this template. We could import a readme from the Terraform module. We can edit that readme as needed. We can enter labels to convey the status or attribution of this template. In this case, I'm labeling this template with things like Java, ECS, Example, Amazon, and Spring Boot. I can now click on publish to publish this template. My templates is successfully published. Now I'm able to attach day two actions to this template. Actions allow platform teams to expose day two operations to the application developers. This is done by triggering existing CI CD workflows, calling upstream APIs, or running existing scripts. Actions allow developers a push button experience to trigger day two workflows such as build, deploy, or rollback, or even operations such as toggling a feature flag. In this example, we'll assign an update ECS service action to this template. We've successfully assigned the action to this template, and now this template is ready for use. Now let's switch over to the developer workflow and see how a developer may use a template to create an application. As a developer, I can go to the Applications tab and click Create an Application. I then get presented with a variety of templates that were pre-created for me by my platform team. In this example, we'll choose the Java Spring Boot application template that we previously created. I can now enter an application name, then specify an input variable. In this case, it's the desired count for my service. I can then simply click Create Application. I've now successfully created a Waypoint application, and I've also kicked off a Terraform run to create my infrastructure. We can see a Terraform plan is running to begin provisioning our application infrastructure dependencies. Waypoint makes use of Terraform as the infrastructure orchestrator to help provision the application and associated infrastructure. Great, looks like our infrastructure is ready. Let's switch to Amazon console to see what Terraform provisioned for us. Since this application uses Amazon ECS to run a Java application, we can see an ECS service with our application name, and that's all running. We can also see the associated deployments in ECS. Now let's take a look at the application outputs. We can see we have two outputs available to us. I have an application URL that I can use to access my Java application, and I also have my repo URL which is a location of my newly created Java application code. Let's first take a look at the repository. I can see I have a GitHub Actions workflow that's running. I can see the workflow builds a Docker image and pushes it to Docker registry. We also have secrets that were automatically injected that were used by the GitHub Actions workflow. I can also see the readme of the GitHub repository that contains information about my application. Next, let's try to access our Java application 
using the URL provided in the application output. I can see the Spring Boot application is working as expected. Now let's say my Java application becomes popular amongst the users and suddenly I'm in a need of a cache. How do I get that one piece of infrastructure that is critical to scaling my application? This is where Waypoint add-ons come into play. Add-ons are modular components that application developers can use to install supporting infrastructure to their application at any point in the application lifecycle. An add-on can install infrastructure, including databases, caches, storage buckets, and much more. Let's go to the add-ons tab and see what's available to us. We can see the Redis cache add-on in the list of add-ons. We can easily install this add-on by simply clicking the install button. We can now see the add-on is installing and Terraform is provisioning the Redis cache for us. We can see that Terraform has finished provisioning and the add-on is installed. Let's take a look at the Amazon console to see our Redis cache. We can see its status is available. If we take a look at the tags, we see our application name is present. Platform teams can use this to find out what infrastructure belongs to what application. Let's now take a look at the add-on output to get the endpoint for our cache. I can just simply copy the endpoint and update my application config to start using it. In this demo, we will use a waypoint action to force a new deployment of our ECS service. If you remember, earlier we had assigned an update ECS service action to the template. Our application was automatically assigned this action and we can now use it to update our ECS service. Let's run it. Now let's switch to the AWS console to see if we forced a new ECS deployment. We see there are two deployments that are listed as part of our ECS service. Our application can now make use of an environment variable that has the cache endpoint. Let's now refresh the web page of our application. We now see our application has the cache endpoint. Finally, let's delete our application to clean things up. We can click Manage and click on Delete Application to delete our application from Waypoint. This will also automatically trigger a destroyed run. This was a demo showcasing HCP Waypoint that allows platform teams to define golden patterns and workflows to enable self-service experience for developers. Thank you.